Hi, I'm Alana, and this is Button Bash. Apple have revealed a new graphics technology for the iPhone and iPad, which is going to be called Metal. I kind of feel like it should have been called iMetal, but maybe that was too aggressive. I don't know. But either way, the plan is to make more efficient use of the processing power of mobile devices. That's totally metal. It was announced during the 2014 Worldwide Developers Conference, where Apple showed that EA, Epic Games, Crytek, and Unity have also been working with Metal. Apple also showed off some footage of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare running on an iPad, though there are no official announcements about that game coming to iOS. Metal is going to be part of the upcoming iOS 8 update, though, so we can assume Garden Warfare could come to iPad around that time. It's set to release later this year. Gaijin Entertainment have announced that its free-to-play military MMO War Thunder will be getting cross-platform play between the PlayStation 4 and PC versions in Europe very soon. For those who don't know, this basically means that those playing on the PS4 will be in the same lobby as PC players, playing against one another instead of being exclusive to those platforms. It's great for lobbies since there are likely twice as many players. The cross-platform play update will come out alongside next week's release of the Ground Forces expansion, which also adds a broad collection of playable tanks and some new land-based units. This is the second game to add cross-platform compatibility to the PlayStation 4 after Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. Mortal Kombat 10 has an official trailer and box art has been revealed. The game will be releasing on the Xbox One, Xbox 360, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3 and PC. The box art features Scorpion, who is undoubtedly one of the most popular characters in the entire franchise. The game's creative director, Ed Boon, said, Mortal Kombat has always been about over-the-top visceral fighting and with Mortal Kombat 10 we wanted to utilize the power of new-gen consoles to give our players the most intense game yet. The team has worked hard to make sure Mortal Kombat 10 delivers everything fans expect, along with new characters, new game modes, and an all-new graphics engine. And I've got to agree with Boone on this one. It looks extremely over the top and pretty damn violent too. Let's check out that trailer. Fight. Thanks for watching Button Bash.